Hey, hey, Berta Jay is here, back in my kitchen with me today. We are going to make the kale and cabbage that was on my Berta J 2, Berta beans 2. That's what we're going to make today, okay? The first thing you need to do is to pick a bunch of kale. I use curly kale, you can use whatever kind of kale you want, but I used the curly kale and I counted the number in the bunch so that you would know how to make it just like this. There were 24 stalks and there were a couple of small ones. I just counted them as I put together like three or four little ones and I counted it as one, but there were 24 medium to large size pieces of kale all together in a bunch. You need a medium sized onion and you need some veggie broth and really that's it. It's very, very simple. And here's what we do. And I cut this onion in half. You have to remember with all leafy greens, when you cook them, they start off big, a whole lot. The volume is, is really high, but because it's mostly water and it hits boiling water, it's going to just shrink right down to a little a way less. I would say probably half even. So the first thing we do after we get the bunch, of kale and you have a medium sized head of cabbage and a medium onion. You need a cup and a half of water and that's what I have on the burner over here. Put in a teaspoon and a half of the powder and let that cook. Bring that mixture to the boil. Put in these onions that you're going to chop up. I prefer having larger pieces like that because it's going to cook really well cook for a long time. You can chop it thinner if you want, but having it a little bit bigger pieces like this is also good. You now take the onions that you have cut up, put it in the veg in the veggie broth and let it cook for three minutes. So I have cooked the onions in the vegetable broth for about three minutes. It's going to keep cooking. You need to do it over a medium, medium heat. Once you put the onions in, anytime you put cold into the hot, when you're cooking, it's going to bring the temperature of the, of the hot lower. So you, if you want it to cook, you're going to bring it back up that once you put the onions into the vegetable broth, bring the, that whole mixture back up to the boil. Then once it's boiling, turn it down to like a medium low heat. Let it cook for the three minutes. And then you're going to have this mixture here. Now I've already, you already know, many of you know, I did a video on how to wash and cut up greens. And that's what I did here. That's all I did is I washed my kale, those 24 pieces, and I cut it up. I took half of a medium cabbage and I cut that up too. And then I just mixed them together. That's it. And it's all in this bowl. So this is the bunch of kale and a half of a, a medium cabbage that's been cut into smaller pieces. Into I shredded it. Okay. So now I mixed them together. And now once that the, your onions are done, once your onion, onions are done after three minutes, you're going to go over with this mixture and I'll show you what you do. All you do is you just keep putting it in. Grab a handful, put it in, just keep turning it. You know it's cooking because it's turned kind of dark, darker than it was. So now put in some more. Keep it on your medium heat. I see. So it's reduced. Five minutes are up, stir it one last time, and your kale and cabbage is done. See how it wilted down from that big bowl you had? That we had? I'm taking it off the stove. This is the final five minutes that you've stirred it. I tend to like my greens a little bit chewy. When you taste this, if you don't like it, if you don't like the chewiness, just let it cook for a few minutes more. So I taste it. And 
That's really perfect for me. So it's all ready to plate. And I just did cut up some tomatoes, threw some shredded carrots over it. And this is my veggie meal. The one thing you need to know that I didn't tell you about is that this mixture of kale and cabbage is a cruciferous vegetable. I'm gonna do another whole video about cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables because they are so good for you. This is an amazing mix. You have tomatoes and, ca and carrots, and then you have this mixture that we just made. It is absolutely fantastic for your body. If you could get in a little kale or, or cabbage, and then a list of other cruciferous vegetables in your body, at least a cup, half a cup to a cup every single day, you would see an improvement in your health because it does so much on the inside of me, uh, on the inside of you. So today we're all done. This is our meal. This would be my lunch, might be my, my dinner. I could also add to give a little bit more, you put in like a starch, like corn, brown rice, one of the whole grains, potatoes. You could do that sweet potato, half of a sweet potato here would be perfect. And that's, this is usually the kind of thing I eat. I even try eating, I even eat this now at breakfast. So your meal is done. Your kale and your cabbage is all complete. A little chewy, like Berta J style, but it's all done. And I'm so glad that you guys came in to my kitchen with me today to, to cook this. And let me know and let me hear from you um, about how you like it when you try it, okay? And what you think of it. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to click on that bell so that every time a new video is made, you will be able to get the, the notification, okay? So I appreciate you and I thank you very much for coming and joining me in my kitchen today and having some cruciferous vegetables on, on a plate, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye for now.